We're back here in the tri-state from showers already impacting the tri-state and that could continue for your evening ahead in Storm Team 44. Meteorologist Gunnar Console is tracking your forecast this week, but Gunnar, besides that rain, it looks like some nice warm weather is sticking around. Yeah, so we're dealing with some pretty decent conditions here in the tri-state. You know, matter and energy is neither created nor destroyed and the storms that we're dealing with right now are the same storms that were impacting Nebraska and Texas that brought all those tornadoes. Fortunately, that energy as it's moved towards the tri-state is a lot tamer. We're not even dealing with any severe weather threats, just some downpours throughout the tri-state. Things are pretty dry in the Evansville metro area right now, but we are noticing there is some, you know, heavier rains out towards Pike and Davies County. So out towards Winslow, we're dealing with some pretty moderate rain. Jasper, that rain is right on your doorstep. We're going to be dealing with the heaviest of the rain moving towards the north northeast. So things are going to be tracking very slowly in that direction. These storms are moving only around 30 miles per hour in that direction. So they're slow moving. We're seeing some pretty decent amount of fall, rainfall rates at one time. As we see these storms producing a lot of rain, but not moving all that quickly. If we take a look, you know, at our neighbors to the south, we're also going to be dealing with some more moderate rain moving in towards Morganfield, out towards Union County. So right now we're looking at Sturgis, Marion, Providence, dealing with some of that heavy rain. And I want to show you kind of the direction things are heading because we see a lot of this rain here. Will it be impacting Evansville? Will it be impacting Owensboro? Well, with the way things are moving right now, if we change our view to back to the tri-state, we're going to be noticing that as we put things in motion, that they're moving very slowly in this direction. So Evansville going to be dealing with some of this rain here soon. If we put things, you know, kind of in motion and draw some of those tracks, usually we use the squall line for severe weather, but since the heaviest of the rain is pretty much a giant blob, we can move things in this direction and this is where things will be in the next two hours. So slow moving storms going to result in some pretty slow moving rain. So the heaviest of the rain out towards Marion going to be in Morganfield at around 416, Seabury around 444, finally in the Henderson Evansville metro area around 451 and 5 o'clock, then up towards Hopstad around 530, Owensville at 541, Potoka and Petersburg right around 6 o'clock and 712. One thing to keep in mind, that's not in a couple hours for us, that's just in Eastern time. Now, if we put, you know, kind of the question of how long are we going to be dealing with these showers? We're going to be continuing to deal with it at least until 9 and 10 o'clock tonight. So continue to tune in through the evening and tonight. We'll likely have updates on the rain, but it looks like by tomorrow morning, rain chances are going to be wrapping up. And if we put things in motion, we are certainly going to be dealing with some pretty heavy rains for a little while. Those showers are going to continue firing up, re-entering the tri-state, but at least no threat for severe weather. Looking at the next seven days, the next chance for some showers only Thursday and Friday, and then it looks like we'll have a pretty dry weekend on tap towards Saturday and Sunday.